Good evening. It's ladies' night. We got the ladies on tonight. Why not, right? We got to do it. We got to talk about it because Jamie Drive is coming on. She's got a bare knuckle debut coming up in BYB 10. Looking forward to that. Then we got Monica Medina coming on. She's got a title shot coming up on the same card. I believe they have three ladies' fights on this card, so it's going to be pretty sick. Thanks for joining the chat, you crazy animals. Let's get this party started. Going to get Jamie on right now. No more wasting time. Let's do this. Jamie. Hey. <laughs> What's up? What's up? going on I, you know just uh another thursday night in florida so you know hot you know. oh but it's nice God. out it's actually beautiful out right now you know what i embrace the hot weather i i love the heat i want to be on the beach i want to be at the pool with a drink in my hand chilling so i'm good yeah me too i feel you <laughs> I'm, I'm with you i'm sure you'll be having some drinks after this fight i know you're ready you yes. you uh, i've seen you've been training i see how hard you work much respect to you Thank and you. you're very welcome and i know this is this is a big one byb 10 it's their 10th show biloxi they got th uh, three women's fights two title fights this is a big big card for the promotion how do you feel about you know getting on this card uh, I'm really excited. Um, I'm really grateful um, for this opportunity and i can't wait to just showcase all my skills yeah, yeah. And BYB, it's interesting because the dynamic of that trigon, that ring, it's so small. You know, what are your thoughts on that, you know, that triangle and getting in there? Like what's the what's the main, you know, thought that you have in your mind before you get in there? It's small, but I like that because you can't run. You know, I come from MMA, so you know, you fight in a pretty decently sized octagon. Um, so here, as soon as you shuffle to the left two steps, you're already in a corner. And if you don't know how to get out, you're stuck. You know what I mean? But luckily with MMA, my clinch work, you know, um, I'm straight. I don't know about Randine, but, you know, but fighting in that trigon, it's, you know, it's definitely do or die. There's no running, no hiding, you know, and you can get trapped and beat really quick. <laughs> we've And we've seen it, you know, we've seen yeah. some crazy, really good bloody fights in BYB, nonstop action. I believe they have a 90% uh, knockout rate which is yeah. insane that's high <laughs> yeah that's high so you know for the fans you know people like us fans we love it so you know uh but now you got a new opponent too uh, a lot of things have changed you know so now randy neckholm is now your opponent so you know what are your thoughts on all these opponent changes um doesn't bother me um i'm just very thankful you know that they were able to get another replacement you know she's the third one actually um but, you know, same mission, same game plan, go in there, take her out. You know what I mean? Um, I know she's a game opponent. She likes to pressure. She likes to throw a lot. Um, and that's cool. But I'm a, definitely the better skilled fighter coming into this fight for sure. Yeah, I've seen uh, your MMA fights. Very aggressive. I like that aggressiveness. Uh, do you plan on bringing that same aggressive aggressiveness into the bare knuckle ring? Or are you going to be a little cautious, you know, to start the fight? Of course I am. It's just who I am as a fighter. Um, I'm a dog, and I'm a dog walk the fuck out of this bitch. You know, you're all going to see it. Um, but I'm definitely going to be just more patient, I should say. I'm not, you know, not just going to go out there and just throw hands. I'm going to be smart, you know, methodical about it. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, because, you know, you got to feel your opponent out, obviously. You got to, you know, feel out this ring. You know, you got to know how to yeah. move in there. You know, so it's definitely going to take a little bit. But you got three minutes in that first round to kind of get yourself acclimated to the atmosphere and to the fight. So, uh, you know, we've seen fights before where, you know, people turn up second round. Now it's like, all right, I got the feel for this. You know, now all of a sudden you see people start really working that tight plumb, that clinch, you know, boxing people into the corners. So you could definitely, although that the way that ring is structured is insane, you could use it to your advantage as well, you know, especially if we got that footwork. So, um, you know, do you feel that you could use that trigon to your advantage as well? Oh, yeah, I definitely think I can, you know, just using my footwork angles, you know, cut her off, get her in the corner and just beat her the fuck up. I love it. I like, you know what I like about <laughs> you? Right to the point. Ain't no holding punches with you. It's like, yo, I'm going to get her in the corner. I'm going to fuck her up. You know, I love that. I love that. Right to the point. I mean, this is this is called the hurt business for a reason. You know what I mean? This is no foo foo shit. I'm not here to tap dance. I'm here to beat the shit out of someone and get my hand raised at the end of it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, what made you decide, like Jamie? What made you decide, yo? I'm gonna go that bare knuckle route because you know bare knuckle's been building up. The sport is evolving. Yeah, we've seen in game bread. We've seen BKFC, BYB, well BKB in, in, in England. You know, a lot of promotions popping up. So, you know, what got you excited? What was that one fight or 
you know, something that got you excited about bare knuckle? Well, I always loved boxing. That was always like what I always wanted to do, but I kind of just got thrown into MMA and I just like stayed there. But I love boxing so much. I was like, you know what? New opportunity, new sport for women. You know what I mean? It was kind of, it was a different avenue and I got the opportunity to to do it. So I kind of just said, fuck it. I mean, I fought in Muay Thai before, kickboxing, MMA. So it's just another thing to add to, you know, my arsenal of things I've done. So. Yeah, we've seen Muay Thai fighters. I'm glad you mentioned that you have that Muay Thai background because we've seen successful Muay Thai, uh, you know, fighters that from come from Muay Thai, very successful in bare knuckle. And it's that that clinch game, the footwork, you know. Game. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. plays a big part. I've watched a lot of bare knuckle fights. And if you can't get inside, you can't work that clinch and you can't take advantage of those because it's quick spouts, you know. You if they don't action in that clinch, ref's breaking it up. They want to, you know, get you back to banging. So if you could take advantage yeah. of those quick moments in the clinch, you got the advantage, you know. So I think that the yeah. Muay Thai fighters have that advantage. No, I definitely agree. Muay Thai and MMA fighters with like a wrestling, you know, grappling background, like they know how to work in the clinch, you know what I mean? But at the same time, like, yeah, you could wrestling in the like wrestle in the clinch, but you gotta be able to throw and you know and clinch at the same time. You can't just sit there because you're gonna get picked off. But I won't, she will. <laughs> It's going down. I mean, I can't wait to see this. I can't wait to see you in action. And what I'm was excited, that? Yeah. Was there any particular bare knuckle fight that you saw? Could be a, a man's fight, a woman's fight, but just a particular fight that stood out to you like, wow, this sport is crazy. I just want to, I want to hop in this thing. Man, all like all of them are pretty like, yeah, damn. Like I'm always catching my breath. I'm like, shit. I'm like, look at this. I mean, I have to shout out Christine Ferreira and BKFC. I mean, she comes out there aggressive. You know, her and I are pretty similar in our fighting style, but she's technically sound. You know, she's really fucking good, and she's murdering every female out there. You know, just seeing the way she crumbles these females is is impressive, and I like to watch it. You know, and so, I mean, there's so many of the guys. I mean, Luis Baboon, Palomino, and um, Tiago Alves is, you know, he's another one. He's another fighter I love to watch. So, but yeah. And you also train at Top Team. I've seen you training. Are you still training at Top Team? No, so I'm no longer at Top okay. Team. I'm at uh, Derek Santos Boxing in Boca. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Derek Santos is the man. Yeah. Great boxing yeah. program over there. The, Amazing. Uh, Daru Strong right over in Boca, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. And I'm also with Daru for my conditioning. So, I mean, I'm in the best shape and have improved a lot of my skills. So, yeah. Driver, let's see them pipes. Show them. You gotta let Look them know. These guns, Ooh. baby. Somebody. <laughs> I mean, I'd probably back out if I was fighting you. I'd be like, I'm all set. I'll take it for a drink or something. That's about it. I ain't getting into no scrap. <laughs> I wouldn't either if I were you. So <laughs> exactly, exactly. I'm smart. So listen, you know, uh, but you know, you mentioned Tiago Alves. Obviously, you did train at American Top Team. Were you able to pick up anything from either Paige or Tiago while you would, you know, your time there? Um because you know, they have that bare knuckle background. Oh yeah, definitely. No, they definitely helped me understand, you know, just how different it is from MMA and just how different it is from just traditional glove boxing. Um, you know, it just helped me with just like little details about the game, being in the corner, getting out, being in the clinch, you know. Um, I actually sparred Paige recently and you know, we got into the clinch and immediately it was like gunfire. She's just rattling off punches and I was like, God damn. And that's when I realized, yeah, it's, it's definitely very, very different. You know what I mean? So no, I picked up a lot of good stuff from both of them. That's cool. And, you know, what? especially that you see now, you know, as the bare knuckle sport has evolved, you know, in the beginning it was like head hunting. Now we're seeing the body, people working the body more. And you know what? When a bare fist hits you in a rib, <laughs> that hurts, you know, way yeah. worse than a glove hitting you. So, <laughs> you know, you got it. To, and, and that's, you know, I'm glad to hear that Paige is doing that because, She's got, you know, she's coming off for of two losses, and I know she wants to get that next fight in. So I'm glad to hear yeah, she's yeah. she's aggressive in the clinch. I like. No, that. no, she's um, she's working. No, she's she's doing her work and her studying. But but yeah, I mean, a lot of people I saw trying to headhunt. I mean, you're either gonna break your hand or hurt your hand really bad. Dig to that body, like that body is soft and fragile, especially with no glove on. And I really love going to the body. It's nice. It is, and we see like a uh, few events I just watched. Body shots end in the fights. You know, you can end yeah. the fights that way. And it was, you know, credit to Jared Grant because, you know, he's the, the interim champ at 135. And, you know, he that guy has really been working that body. He's been working the body since he's got to BKFC. He figured it out quick. 
you know, and that's why he's been yeah, so he successful too. So yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Was, that, that was, so what was like the big difference for you? Cause you grew up like me boxing, you know, that's what I grew up on, you know, so coming, you know, from being and having that boxing background, being a boxing fan, what did you notice the, like the biggest difference um, in style between boxing and bare knuckle boxing? Uh, well, I came from more from like an MMA striking okay. background, so like more kickboxing actually. Mm -hmm. So the footwork was huge. Um, you'll see a lot of fighters step with the opposite foot in MMA, you know, because you, then you're throwing a switch kick and all types of shit. So this was like it, it, little choppy steps, like learning to not take such big wide steps and, and the different angles and the head movement, you know. I don't have to worry about a kick coming anymore, or elbow or knee, so I can slip and I can get down right, you know, below their waist and I don't have to worry about anything. So that was, it was hard for me to adjust for a little bit, mm -hmm. but I've just been consistently working at every little thing. So, yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. Got it. All those little, little things, those little details. It's all the little details, really, you know, just not pulling your head back, head movement. Mm. MMA fighters do not move their head. Like it is terrible. And now that I'm boxing and bare knuckle boxing, you need to move your head. Guess what? You there is no like room really for error because as soon as up, you better slip. You oh, know what yeah. I mean? Because uh, I'm not getting clapped with a bare knuckle. <laughs> no, no, no. And we've even seen people get clipped and get knocked yeah, out. Yeah, and just you know? go down. Yeah. So and, and them and them rings, they ain't got no give. So even if you get clipped and drop, your head hits it the wrong way. It's lights out. So. Yeah, yeah, there's a is. lot. There's a <laughs> lot of different things you got to look out for. So, you know, I see guys, you know, get in there, girls get in there and they're aggressive right out the gate. And I'm cool with that because I like to see a, a fight, a scrap, you know, bang it. But yes, you could you could get caught if you don't have that good D. Like you said, you make a very good point with that. That head movement is so key. So I, I'm looking forward to that. But I want to get back to your opponent because. Uh, Randine, you know, she has bare knuckle experience. She fought Britain Hart. We've seen that fight. That was uh, the last November, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then she had a fight in October. She was supposed to have a fight with uh, Taylor Stalling. And from what I heard, it was some uh, weight making issues. So, you know, are these concerns for you? Because you, we've already had a couple of announcements that you're going to have some fights. Your last opponent, uh, she's in the military. She had to leave uh, for, for some service that she's got to do. So, you know. What are your thoughts on, on that? Do you have any concerns with your opponent making weight? And if, you know, if so, you know, are you, have you heard if there's any other people that could potentially fight you if there's an issue? Because it sounds like you've been through a lot with opponents. Oh, I've been through a lot, period. <laughs> <laughs> I just, let's just say that. No, Throw but, it out um, there. <laughs> no, but I mean, the weight is, I mean, I actually didn't even really know until you just told me about the whole weight issue. But I know okay. they fight at a lighter weight. So I don't know if just maybe going that light. This is at 45. Um, so, but I mean, I don't know. She could come in heavy. And if she does, I just take some of her money. You know, it's really that simple. And then go beat her ass. So, but yeah, I'm not really too concerned about her weight. You know, my weight is great. I'm a few pounds off, so I'm not sweating it. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll see what happens come, come weigh-in day. <laughs> Ooh, it's going to be sick. I'm looking forward to this card a lot because, like I said earlier, there's a lot of bangers on this card. Yeah, the card is stacked. It, it really is. Are there any fights on the card as a fan that you're looking forward to, to seeing? Probably the main event, of course. Yeah. I actually am really excited to see those two bang it out. And uh, I was originally supposed to fight at 35, um, lightweight. So I wanted to, you know... I'd like to go back down to 35 because that's like the weight division they have for women. But if they do make a 145 division, that would be awesome. Um, <clears throat> but obviously, Patty Juarez, because, you know, my initial plan was to fight at that weight and take all those girls out and be the champ there. So I'm definitely interested to see if she keeps the belt. You know, I think she will. She's she's the best thus far. So, but yeah. She's been super impressive. And these these women fights have been great. I'm a huge fan of them. I just like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a weird fetish of mine, but I just love watching women beat the shit out of each other. I love it. I love it. <laughs> because <laughs> like I'm, we just don't hold back. There's definitely just like some ego pride bullshit. We're like, nah, yeah. this bitch guy. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, that's the that's the thing that I noticed. It's like, you know. Women, they it's it's a little more aggressive because there's like there's something going down. It's like women, they you know, like even like women that don't know how to fight when they get into a scrap in the street, their hair pulling, they they're gouging each other's eyes out. Okay, like, like, instinct. It's crazy. <laughs> like it's crazy. It's like they're out for blood, and I and I think men feel bad for each other a little bit after we scrap. It's like yo, all right, man, respect. You know, all right, is what it is. Women are like, you know, 
the fuck out of here. But yeah. I, I, I love it. I love. I, I just love watching it. And um, so you know, with BYB, yeah, they got the title now. You know, there's a Police Gazette belt now on the line. So Police Gazette's getting involved. Very historic uh, organization when it comes to bare yeah. knuckle. And yeah, but there's going to be opportunity, I think, for you in that 135. So even if you wanted to drop down and go to 135, that division is now starting to evolve, open up. So that I think there's going to be a lot of opportunities for women. And I and we could see it on this card. Three women fights on this card. That's huge. Yeah, no, that's that's massive. I mean, you look at all the BKFC, BYB, BKB card, BKB cards, maybe one female fight, if none. You know what I mean? So to have three, one card, I love it. I love it. Yeah, mama mia. You did that's that's I came out of my, my mother's womb like that. Oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> so what do you like? You know, I, I'm always curious about like people's like pre-fight rituals or like you know, superstitions or anything. Is there anything like superstitions or pre-fight rituals that you know you're like, yo, gotta make sure I do this, this, and this for good luck, you know? Damn, I don't know. Some people don't change their socks, you know, they're just going in there. Some people wear no, crazy I mean, socks. I definitely have clean socks, uh, fresh fit, you know what I mean? <laughs> I guess, like, I definitely am more anal about, like, my outfits. Like, everything's picked out. Like, usually I just throw shit on. Like, I don't really be caring about what I'm wearing. But, yeah, I'm definitely just, like, everything is laid out to a T that day. Like, but you, as long as I, I have music playing all day, there's not a moment that goes by that there's what do you no music to? on Anything and everything, but definitely the day of, like, we're listening to some gangster shit because I'm about to be a killer. You know what I mean? So yeah. we got to we gotta be deep and we got to be a gangster that day. So I like that. You know, <laughs> so a little, we can throw it back with a little NWA, get real gangster, man. You know, we're talking about killing people here. You know, we throw some, <laughs> we throw some Biggie and Pac on. I'm old school oh, hip hop. You know, oh, that's where on, I'm at. Yes. Some you Biggie, Nas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you throw me back now. I'm going to have to listen <laughs> to this bit, to this podcast. Are you from New Jersey originally? Is that where you're yeah, from? Yeah, I'm from Jersey. Where about? A uh, small town called Pennington by Trenton. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. I got some people in Newark, Hoboken. Uh, I, I was a Jersey Shore kid growing up. So I lived in Brooklyn, but we were in the Shore every weekend. So love it. Jersey's where it's at. What can I say? You know, <laughs> the cabs are here. It's t-shirt time. You know. <laughs> the cra- you know what, the, Jamie? The crazy thing about that show was that Jersey Shore was like a, a really a little fish town. Hanging out. Great time. Family. Oh, yeah. It's, so- like, kind of, it's like half, mainly family. Like, you just kind of, I call it sleeve side. Like you just yeah. go, you know what I mean? Like but you play games, you go get like fair food basically, but then you just get ratchet as fuck at night. So you get really yeah. drunk. <laughs> go to go to DJs, hit the pier, go wild, you know. Yeah, get some pizza. Oh, you, know? you gotta get that pizza. A little oyster shoes on the, the pier. Oof. I can't wait to eat after this fight. Mm. Oh, what you gonna eat? What you gonna eat? What's that post fight meal? Chicken wings, chicken wings, chicken wings, chicken wings, oh, and fries. <laughs> you going with that hot sauce too? Or what you like that spicy? It depends on what they got, but yeah, the spicier the better. Yep. Yeah, I'm all about that. I just had some real good spicy hot sauce. I got to put you onto it. I'm gonna tell you. I'll DM you the the hot yeah, sauce. Yeah, yeah. Check that out. Drop that on them wings. Woo. Yeah, let me know because like I don't know if you've had it before, but like Scotch bonnet pepper sauce. Oh, delicious! But it will oh. fucking melt your mouth. So but wait, it's so you, good. You buy that at the store or is that a restaurant? Yeah, yeah, it's at the store, or you okay. can like I'll order it online because it's like a Jamaican spice, but it is so damn good. Oh, you gotta check shit. It out. So <laughs> shit's about to get spicy in the ring and outside the ring after the fight. <laughs> Very. Yeah, that's that's how I like it. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask you this. I ask everybody this because it always makes for a nice clip, you know, when we promote it. But <laughs> if if your opponent's in this chat right now, what do you got to say to her? Shit. I mean, hey, thank hey, thank you for the opportunity. You know, stepping up. I actually really appreciate you. I respect you. Uh good luck. You're gonna need it. That's about it. I, I hope you move your head. <laughs> that's that's about right it. to the point. Jamie's right to the point. I love it. Well, I can't <laughs> wait to see this fight happen. I can't wait to see you make your debut in BYB. I'm ex- super excited for this fight. Like I said, it's ladies night, it's going down. You versus Randine, BYB 10, May 28, Biloxi, Mississippi at the BYB Brawl. It's going to be crazy. So I'm looking forward to it. I wish you the best of luck. I want to thank you you for taking the time to come talk to me. 
about this fight and about you making your debut with BYB. If you want to shout any sponsors out, any friends, anybody that's been very supportive to you, please go for it. Uh, well, first, thank you for having me on the show. Um, and of course, first and foremost, I want to thank my family, my mom and my dad, who have pushed me to be the best I can be always. Uh, my coaches, Derek Santos and my team there, they welcome me with open arms. I'm really grateful and thankful for them. Um, everybody at Daru, all my coaches there, my coach Mo Lawal, a friend and mentor, uh, my management team, Dream, uh, my uh, shit, all my sponsors, Danbury Trashers, who do a quality drywall, Rainbow Seamless Gutters, Smoke Time. Um, I know I'm forgetting people. I love you guys. Um, don't be mad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, everybody knows who's who's been very supportive of, especially not just me fighting, but just in life in general. And I just want to say thank you guys. And uh, I can't wait to give you guys all a show next Saturday. It's going to be motherfucking fireworks. Hell yeah, it's going to be fireworks, <laughs> baby. And I'll tell you that I, I love hearing that you have all these sponsors and people supporting you. Just that's a testimony. I, when I hear that, I always know. This is a good person right here. They ain't just backing you because they like you as a fighter, but they like you as a person too. So that's super important. So, you know, God bless you. I wish you the best. And I'll see you fight night. Yeah, I'll see you there. (laughs) All right. Have a good one. Thank you. You too. Take care. Take care. Boom. Jamie Driver. Holy shit. It's going to get wild. BYB10 Biloxi Brawl. How you doing? I am excited for this fight. I can't wait. But like I said, it's ladies' night. So now I want to introduce Monica Medina. She got a big fight coming up. Real big fight coming up. It's a title shot right here. And it's going to be pretty sick. It's the inaugural 135 Police Gazette Diamond Belt on the line. Shout out to my guy, Scott Burt, for doing his thing. So I want to bring up Monica right now because as you already know we got to talk about it so let's do it what's up what up how you doing where you at I'm at the gym like always I uh, love it you live in that gym don't you I do I do I love it I love it so you got I, I'm first of all thank you for coming on thank you for taking the time to talk to me help promote your fight I'm excited to talk to you and have you on so it's nice to meet you. You too, man. You too. I appreciate you. So a lot of things going on. You know, we got this big fight coming up. When first of all, when did you find out that you were fighting for the title? Um, well, they I asked, I actually hit up Mel when I found out they were coming to Biloxi and I was like, Hey, you know, I want to test out some bare knuckle boxing. And uh he called me right away and he was like, So opportunities knocking, you know, we need somebody to fight for the belt. And I was like, fuck it, sign me up. Um then I found out on Facebook like two weeks ago we were fighting for the um, the police gazette belt. So pretty dope. I think that's really dope because there's you know there's a lot there's a lot on the line here. Um, you know it's a, it's a it's huge for the promotion obviously. Title fight on the line. The women's division is building up. That 135 division is building up. Great opportunity for you. You yeah. fought in game bread three times. You know yeah. you got. You, you coming in with that bare knuckle MMA experience, you know? So do you, you think that's going to play a big advantage for you coming into this fight? Uh, maybe, you know, I, I, either way, I don't care. I'm just down to have some fun and just punch somebody in the face, bro. Oh, I love it. When did, when, how old were you when you got into fighting? 29, 29. I was pretty, pretty old. Yeah. Wow. What made you do that at 29? Well, Cause you know, like what was that point in your life where you're like, you know what? I'm 29, but this is what I want to do. No, not even at all. I was I was about 28, and I was yep. in the gym. My kids were training, um, and I was pretty fat, actually. I was about 198 pounds, and uh, I was like, I got to get my ass in shape. So I started doing a little fitness kickboxing classes at the gym uh, with Alan Belcher and lost, like, 50 pounds. And then uh, they were like, hey, Jason Knight actually was like, you need to come train MMA. And I was like, no, thank you. Um, my first experience with MMA, he actually picked me up drug me in the cage, mounted me, and just started punching me. and was like, hit me back, bitch. I was like, oh, okay. And uh, about four months later, I took my first fight, and we've just been fighting ever since. Wow, that's a crazy introduction to MMA. 29 <laughs> years old, Jason Knight's on mount, full mount. Yeah, just talking shit and punching me in the mouth. What was that like? I mean... <laughs> it, it was pretty wild, honestly. I was pretty intimidated by just the fighting stuff at first. Mm-hmm. But once I got my first taste of it, I was like, oh, this is some fun shit right here. Holy shit, that's crazy. And you got Alan Belcher. He's a now bare knuckle guy. He's got a big, t- I'm sure, a title eliminator yep. coming up. That's yep. huge. Yeah. yeah. 
So, I mean, so now you had that experience with Jason Knight. And then were you just like at that moment? I know you said you were intimidated, but at that were you thinking about it afterwards and like, you know what? I'm gonna give this thing a shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. After that that first night training, I was like, Oh, I actually like this. So um and I was doing like women's jujitsu classes at the time, you know, and I was like, I actually think this MMA stuff's pretty cool. So from that day on, I was all the way in it. Wow, that is awesome. I like hearing stuff like this because this is like later in life transitions, and I love yeah. hearing how people could reinvent themselves. Yeah. So that's actually a very inspiring thing that that you've done. I love that. Yeah, thank you. Good for you. So now we got this big fight coming up. You know, Patty Juarez, excellent bare knuckle fighter. She's the current champ. Yeah. What do you, What are your thoughts on her? Um, you know, I I I think it's pretty awesome. You know, she's an older lady too. Mm -hmm. Um, came in with no bare knuckle experience. Probably wasn't expected to win the belt. You know, went out there and did her thing. So you know, I respect her. Um. But I'm going to go out there and I'm going to put them things on her and I'm going to leave with the, with the belt, bro. Oh, yeah. I love that confidence. For sure. All respect, but uh, that's that's coming home with me. See, that's another thing, too. Look at, you know, when you look back, would you ever think, you know, like I started fighting at 29 and look thinking, like, would I ever be in a position to win a bare knuckle boxing championship? Oh, no. No <laughs> way. No way. I actually, a couple of years ago, I just retired all the way from fighting. Um, I opened up my own gym, and I was kind of running the gym, teaching classes, and I was like, I'm not going to fight anymore. Didn't fight for about two years, um, and then Gabe Red came along, and I got the call, like, hey, we're doing bare knuckle MMA. You can be a part of the first ever female fight. And I was like, damn, bro, I hadn't even been training. And I was like, let's just do it. So I took that first fight on, like, six weeks' notice with no training, really, for the past few years. Wow. Um, but I sparked that love back, so. Well, much respect to you for coming out and doing that in a bare knuckle fight, no less. You know, know. a lot of other people may have been like, yeah, I don't know about Everybody that. thinks I'm crazy. They're like, oh, you wild. Why you do bare knuckle? But it's just fun, man. You got to be a certain kind of, I always say, a certain kind of animal to, to do bare knuckle. You know, it only it takes a certain person. Not everybody's yeah. built for that. This is yeah. like old school savagery fighting mixed in with new school, well-calculated well-skilled fighters you know yeah. so you're mixing old school and new school together it's a savage sport yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's fun so, it's fun i love it so before you got the call to go to game bread to fight did you see any bare knuckle fights at all or did you check them out after like you're like oh let me check this out let me look into this i didn't even watch any when they called me they just said it's gonna be in your hometown you can be a part of the first fight blah 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 and i was like all right sign me up whatever let's go Let's go. Pay me. Let me yeah. fight. Let's do this. Pay me. Yep. I mean, I get paid to hit people and get hit. Let's do it. I mean, why not? That's if that's that's how you like it. That's how I you're gonna it. do it. <laughs> it's fun. I'm having fun with it. I love that. And you got um. So, was there any like? Did you do like look at any footage of of bare knuckle fights at all since you know your you know your return to the to the yeah, cage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I watch it a lot now for sure. Okay. That's not all I watch now. Yeah, me too. I love it. I love. I, I grew up a boxing fan, but when I saw Ben Knuckle, I was like, "Shut out!" I'm like, yeah. "Oh, I gotta watch yeah. this." I love it. Any it's any fight? It, it is. Is there any particular fights or fighters that you've watched and you were very impressed and you were like, "Wow, okay, I learned a couple things here," you know? Not really. You know, mm -hmm. I, I just like watching fights. Mm -hmm. um, I don't try to mimic anybody. You know, I just I just do me. Uh, I train hard and I, and I fight harder. So. Hell yeah! It's, I can't wait for this fight because it's there's a, there's a lot on the line, like I was saying earlier. But um, you know, for you, you know, coming in now, you know, you've had your three fights in game bread, feeling good, coming off a win against Link. Now, you know, walking into the Trigon, you know, Are you game. I could tell by talking to you, you game for anything. What goes on in your head when you can get into that little triangle? Hey, kill or be killed, bro. Go forward. I ain't moving backwards. Like, let's go. Let's fucking go. Period. Hell yeah. What do you think? How do you think this fight's going to go down? Um, I don't want to be an asshole, but I think I'm going to put her out. I think, I think I'm going to put her out. Yeah. Anybody that's ever trained with me, guy, girl, say they ain't never been hit so fucking hard in their life. So we'll see. We'll see. And I'm not talking shit either. That's, that's, the, that's what I get every time I go and train with different people. They're like, I have never been hit so fucking hard. Wow. So.
Is this is that power that you have? Natural born talent, something you've worked hard at, or is it like something that clicks in your mind where you when you're throwing like it's? Yeah, I, I think it's just something that you know. Um, this is my first ever boxing. Like I've been MMA. Everybody knows me for being a ground jujitsu girl. Um, you know, I've never boxed, but uh, my dad was a professional boxer in Puerto Rico. My brother was a professional boxer uh, growing up in Philadelphia all his life. So I think it's just in the blood to fucking box. Mm. And these past twelve weeks, I've you know I've turned up just straight boxing, and I've had so much fun. I've grown so much, and I hit fucking hard. Oh my god! And I do. I don't give a damn. I don't so, care. We're gonna see. We we may see those cameras shake and ring. Sorry, those punches are gonna be <laughs> landing so hard. Oh my god! You know, and much respect to your opponent. She's the champ. I'm sure she's gonna be given everything she's got in this fight as well. Oh, what 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 do you feel separates you from Horace? Um, honestly, I feel my power is gonna be something that she's never felt before. You know, I, I watched her last two fights, and I don't think she's hit as hard as I'm gonna hit her. And you know, hey, she's Mexican. Mexicans are fucking tough, bro. So. Maybe she can take it. Maybe she can't, you know. No disrespect to her at all, but we'll see if she can handle it. So you say you're going to finish, or do you have a particular round you think this is going to go down, or you just say, you know, this is how it's just going to happen? Uh, no, no particular round, man. Mm -hmm. if, I don't think it's going off seven. If it does, I'll be surprised. Um, most of my wins do not go past the first or second round. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Maybe by the third round, second round. We'll all right. See. What would it be like for you to to win a, a bare knuckle championship title? Man, it'll be it'll be great. Just just another notch in the belt, you know. Yeah. Another history making thing I've done. Um, you know, just trying to build on my legacy. Like I said, I run a gym. I teach kids. You know, I'm just trying to just pave the way for other people um, and just show them you can do it. Especially for the moms out there. You know, the older I'm about to be 38 years old, but I feel like I'm about 25. <laughs> Just it's it's just gonna be a, a good thing. I'm just ready to hang them belts up in my gym, get on to the next one. Hell yeah! And you know what? That I, you know it doesn't matter how old you get, it's how you take care of your body, right? That's why you feel so young. You're oh, I'm working out a lot. The best shape ever, ever. Oh man, I can't wait. It's going down. We oh. got it. May 28th. It's right around the corner. We only got a, a week left. Hell I, yeah! Oh my. Hell yeah. What's your pre-fight ritual? Um, I take a nap. I chill. I watch a little TV. You know, nothing too crazy. I just I just pretty much just take it easy. Lay in the bed. I never get to lay in the bed. I'm always so damn busy. So fight day, you know, I just really chill out and then just meet up with the coach and the team and just crack some jokes and have some fun and then make that walk. Make that walk. Well, I look forward to you making that walk. It's going yeah. down. The Police Gazette title, May 28, BYB 10. Yes. Medina, Torres, title on the line. It's going to get bloody in that trigon. I just got a funny <laughs> feeling. And I expect my white shorts to be red when I walk out that bitch. <laughs> Woo! Sure. Yo, I can't wait. Monica, thank you for joining me tonight. I appreciate you. I wish you nothing but the best of luck. God bless you. I think it's going to be an absolute war. Whoever is not tuning in is absolutely crazy. It's free. It's on fucking YouTube, people. Check hey, this out. Fuck in. Tune the fuck in. Cool. Hell yeah. Anybody you want to shout out? Anybody you want to thank that's been supporting you? Um, you Johnny know, Smith. This guy over here, Johnny Smith. So what up, said. Johnny Smith? What up, Johnny Smith? Uh, we'll shout out that other guy over there. Where you at, Amir? Amir. Uh, what up, Amir? <laughs> just so, now nah, all my my coach you know eric graham for real he's uh he's been the biggest <laughs> biggest influence in my you know coming back and and you know really just finding that old monica that fucking dog in me so all the props in the world to eric graham you know everybody i train with here uh up in hattiesburg i'm about an hour and a half from the house right now um so everybody up here at graham mma you know all my girls down on the coast um and then all my sponsors um i probably should list all right now before i get in trouble so um my guys over at neo life they're the ones that fix me up i break shit they fix me so i told them if i break my hands in this fight i'm gonna come see y'all monday um my girl chelsea at neo nutrition um i fix and repair phone service we got tasty tails i'm going for crawfish after this fight if you've never had crawfish good 
hit up Tasty Tales. That's the best crawfish. Uh, my girl Lee Bakery, Sue, she's got the best bakery around. I'm going to eat that too after this fight. Um, and I'm not even really cutting any weight for this, so I could probably eat that shit tomorrow. But um, <laughs> um, Damn, there's so many damn sponsors, y'all. I'm probably forgetting half of y'all. But you know what? I love all y'all. I don't know y'all's names right now. There's 15 of them. The banner's coming out. The banner's going to be dope as fuck. Y'all wait to see that shit. And especially my wife. You know, my wife is very supportive. She's in the police academy right now, so we're away from each other all week long. Um, she'll be there for the fight. She gets out on the weekend. So she's definitely the biggest inspiration for me right there. My wife, Vanessa. Let me tell you something. I would be, I would, it would be somebody's unluckiest day of their life if they messed with you and your wife on the same night. Because not only are they going to get a beating, they're going to jail too. Hemmed up, hemmed up, boy. I'm going to whoop that ass and then she's taking them to jail. <laughs> oh, sure. And, I love it. So she'll kick the shit out. She's pretty good at Muay Thai. <laughs> Yeah, that would be somebody's very unlucky night to mess with you girls. Oh, sure. <laughs> well, thank you, Monica. Wishing you nothing but the best. Thank you for your time. And I will see you fight night. Yes, sir. See you then. See you. Take care. Yep. Yo, yo, yo. That's what's up. Thank you guys for tuning in. BYB is heating up. It's ladies' night. It's crazy. It's May 28th in Mississippi. That's going to be – it's just going to be a sick card. I'm really looking forward to – uh, to this thing so check it out it's on youtube it's free follow byb extreme on instagram with all the updates uh you'll see clips of my interviews on there as well uh guys you got any suggestions of guests that you want to see i'll at your boy let me know but thank you guys for uh tuning in in the chat joe ivy in the chat thank you very much my man kyle mission in the house chevy bridges what up what up bear bennett my guy bobo that's my bodyguard Watch out. Bobo's my bodyguard. You better be careful. Tony Chappelle, Mike Honnold in the house. Thank you guys for tuning in. Much appreciated, as always. God bless. Have a great night. It's Thursday. It's Throwback Thursday. Play some Throwback Tunes tonight. I think I'm going to put that Nas on. I think Jamie had a good idea. Peace, y'all.